All right, everyone, back at the lake in for 500. One of the first hands dealt, looked down at Jack 9, 8, 6, double suited in middle position. There's an early position race of 20, one caller to me, I call, and a late position player calls. So we're going four ways to a flop. Walk comes ace nine three with two clubs. The original razor pushes all in for 75. Other player folds to me. And here with middle pair and a bad flush draw, not really the greatest hand. Um, you know, had he bet 75 with 300 behind, I would definitely fold. But since he's all in, and I have a feeling that if I call, the late position player is going to fold. So I decide to call, and the late position player does fold. Uh, later tells me he would have called had I not called. So heads up to a run out. Turn brings a two of clubs. River brings an eight of hearts. My opponent turns over ace nine. I show my hand, and we're taking it down. Ace queen 5 4 single suited to the queen. This is a hand I see commonly played that I believe is a mistake. You don't want to have wheel cards in your hand, and having suited to the queen, really not that great. Um, this is a hand I potentially would play from later position if it was suited to the ace, but this hand I folded. Here, look down at ace king 10 3, single suited in the small blind in a straddled pot. There's an early position raised to 40. Two callers to me, I call, and everyone else folds. So we're going four ways to a flop. Up comes 10 3 2 rainbow. I check the original razor bets 80, folds through the button to my right. He pots it for over 500 back to me. So, the player on the button, he's not the loosest player, but he does like to mix it up a little bit. Plus, he's also on the button, which means that he obviously could be calling pre flop much wider than usual. There's definitely some hands that are crushing me, but there's also some hands I'm in pretty good shape against. Uh, I believe he would do this with lower two pair or even like combo draw of sorts. So I would have definitely rather been the one pushing here, but I decided to push for a little bit more. Original Razor folds back to the button, who of course calls. So we're going heads up to a run out. Turn brings an eight of hearts, which is a pretty good card. River brings a four of hearts, which is obviously not a great card as that completes a lot of straights. And now... You know, a hand like 10, 4, 5 would now beat me. But I show my hand, not really sure. And he turns over his hand. He has Jack, Jack, 10, 3. So both flop top two pair, and we both had some outs to take it down. But we're going to chop it up here. King, King, 6, 2, single suited in the small blind. So this is a hand you really aren't going to have many great flops. The only way you make the nut flush is if there's an ace out there, which obviously decreases the strength of your kings. You can only make one straight with this hand, which is never going to be the nuts. And, you know, especially here in this situation, small blind, there was a raise and a three bet. I decided to fold. Let me know what you think. Here, look down at king, jack, jack, three, double suited in the cutoff in a straddled pot. There's one limper. I make it 50 and only the small blind and the limper call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes ace, king, nine with two clubs. When it checks to me, I bet 80 and both my opponents fold. So I take it down. Here, look down at ace, king, eight, seven, single suited under the gun in a straddled pot. I limp. There's a couple late position limpers behind, and we're going five ways to a flop. Ball comes down seven, four, four with two clubs. When it checks to me, I bet 20, and everyone folds, so we take it down. Here, look down at king, king, queen, six, double suited in the big blind in a straddled pot. There's a couple limpers. The small blind completes to me. I make it 50, and only one of the limpers and the small blind call, so we're going three ways to a flop. Ball comes down 10, 10, 4 with two clubs. When small blind checks to me, I think about betting here, but you know, 10s are going to obviously be in my opponent's calling range quite a bit. So I decide to check and the other player checks as well. So still three ways to a turn. Turn brings a queen of clubs. The small blind bets 75 and I don't believe I can give up on the hand just yet. So I call and the late position player calls as well. So still three ways to a river. River brings another 10 and proving me to a full house. Small blind checks, I check and the late position player checks. Small blind shows ace five of clubs, not thinking he's good. And obviously he's correct. I turn over my hand and the late position player mucks. So pretty fortunate there to fill up on the river and we're gonna take it down. Jack nine, seven, two, double suited. This is a hand where really the fourth card makes a huge difference. You know, if that two of clubs is a 10 of clubs, I mean, this hand goes from folding to, you know, jack 10, nine, seven. I mean, you can essentially call a raise with that. You can even three bet, uh, you know, especially in later positions. So you really have to think how all of your cards work together. The deuce here really does nothing for your hand. Seven high flush is very rarely ever going to be good. So this is a fold for me. Here we look down at ace ace, jack 10, single suited in the cutoff in a straddled pot. Player to my right limps. I make a 50 and we get two callers. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes nine, five, three with two diamonds. Under the gun checks. I bet 125. Lay position player thinks a bit, folds. And then under the gun, check raises to 400, back to me. 
So obviously my opponent's going to put me on aces here a lot of the time, which is what I have, but having enough flush draw with the backdoor straight draw is going to make my hand a favorite against, you know, two pair combo draw of sorts, which is definitely a couple candidates he might do this with. So for all those reasons, I decide to push and he quickly calls. So we're going heads up to a run out. Turn brings a four of diamonds. So now we probably just have to fade a board pair on the river. River brings a low heart and it looks like a three and it isn't a three, it's a two. So I turn over my hand, obviously having the nuts and my opponent mucks and we're doubling up here. Very next hand, I look down at ace, ace, jack, four, single suited in the hijack. There's one early position limp. I make it 25 and we get two callers. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes king, queen, jack, rainbow. When it checks to me, I bet 40 and both my opponents fold. So we take it down. Here, I look down at ace, queen, nine, six, double suited on the button in a straddled pot. There's three limpers to me, I limp, small blind makes it 30, four callers to me and I call. So we're going six ways to a flop. Flop comes ace, seven, five with two diamonds. Action checks to me and I check. So we're still going six ways to a turn. Turn brings a four, early position player bets 100. He gets two callers and I fold. Here look down at ace, 10, nine, six, double suited on the button. There's three early position limpers. I make it 30 and we get five callers. So we're going six ways to a flop. Flop comes king, seven, two, all clubs. When it checks to me, I check and we're still going six ways to a turn. Turn brings a four, checks to one of the early position players who bets 60. Folds to me and I fold. Here look down at king, king, four, three, double suited in middle position. There's an early position limp. Next player makes it 25. I call and there's four other callers. So we're going six ways to a flop. Flop comes six, four, three with two hearts. When it checks to me, I'm not 100% sure where I'm at. So I bet $60 as a feeler bet and we get two callers. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings the queen of diamonds. When it checks to me, I decide to check back. Um, you know, bottom two pair is a tricky hand to play and hold them. And you can imagine how it is in PLO here. So I check and the button bets 325. Player to my right, check raises to 1200. I fold and the button tanks for a while and he also folds. So the player to my right takes it down. Here I look down at queen jack 9-8, single suited on the button in a straddled pot. I was actually supposed to have queen jack 10 9 rainbow as the dealer flipped over my 10 of clubs and instead gave me the eight of spades so if that's ever happened to you in a big spot let me know down below there are four limpers to me i limp both the blinds complete and the straddler checks so we're going eight ways to a flop flop comes 10 9 4 rainbow when it checks to me i bet 50 and we get one caller so we're going heads up to a turn turn brings an eight of diamonds my opponent bets 180 and i just call so we're going heads up to a river river brings a king of clubs my opponent pots it I read jam and he immediately calls and turns over king, queen, jack, six. So he had the same straight with a higher straight redraw, plus he had the diamond draw. So lucky there that I dodged the river and we're gonna chop it up. I played a little while longer, didn't get a ton to play and decided to rack up. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 500, out for 1800, profit of 1300. If you guys haven't already done so, please check out my previous video. We're almost 40 vlogs in and this is the shortest session of all of them. Check it out up here. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.